Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very glad to address this message to all of you who are in Bandung, Indonesia, to attend the third high-level roundtable on the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. I would like to express my acknowledgement to the government of Indonesia, which has supported this event organized in the context of the International Conference on Plant Genetic Resources, Food Security, and Climate Change. It is my belief that the third high-level roundtable represents a concrete input to the FAO's new strategy for food security, an important step for the implementation of the United Nations Decade for Biodiversity 2011-2020. I'm delighted to find out about the outcomes of your meeting that will be focused on the policy contribution of the treaty to cope with the global challenge of biodiversity, climate change, and food security, including water scarcity. The Sultanate of Oman is also truly honored to host the Ministerial Conference for the Near East and North Africa region and the fifth session of the governing body of the International Treaty, which will take place in Muscat in September 2013. I'm sure that this event will keep the political momentum to the highest level, as well as already demonstrated in the previous two high-level roundtables organized in Rome in 2010 by Italy and Rio de Janeiro by Norway, Brazil, and Italy in 2012. Muscat's meeting will offer the opportunity to strengthen our technical and political commitments on one, the monetary and non-monetary benefits arising from the utilization of plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. Two, the impact of the Rio Six Point Action Plan to address adaptation and mitigation to climate change, to conserve and promote the use of plant genetic resources, and to increase global food security. Therefore, our belief is that these meetings we recognize the treaty as one of the foremost legal instruments leading the agricultural field internationally with innovative mechanisms such as the multilateral system of access and benefit sharing. I would also like to invite His Excellency, the Minister of Agriculture of the Government of Indonesia, to participate in Muscat's ministerial meeting and present the outcomes of the third high-level round table. I wish you all a successful deliberation and meeting in Bandung and look forward to seeing you in the coming preparatory meetings and finally in Muscat in September 2013. Thank you very much.